Call it divine intervention, call it good beer. Whichever you choose, you'll understand what we're talking about once you sip on a drink at Divine Barrel. So this is the one I think you'll like. Okay. Uh, this is a red wine barrel aged petite saison that we rested on blackberries. Ooh, that's really good. Ooh, that, the, the. It's got a little bit of tartness yeah. through the blackberries. And otherwise it's And that taste smooth. at the end, it's almost like, it's good. Good. Not being the biggest beer drinker out there, it's hard for me to find one that I like. But Charlotte's a beer town. And when you walk into Divine Barrel Brewing, like I did, how can you not try a few? I toured the Noda facility with owner Gavin Toth and got a feel for the passion he and his two partners have poured into it. Do you ever get sick of beer? No. <laughs> you never guess the brewery is just a year old, especially after glancing over the menu's long list of carefully crafted brews. Beer is art, so we like to come up with lots of different recipes. We like to switch it up and so the brewer can still have fun and we get to try a lot of new different things and educate people on different styles of beer. And you don't need to look far to see what sets Divine apart. In fact, all you need to do is peek inside a barrel or two and you'll get the idea. We have a separate barrel room where we age beers for maybe three months, maybe a year. We actually have beer in there that's been almost a year uh, in barrels. When you get a taste of Divine's barrel-aged beer, I can tell you... They're very different. And believe your bartender when they tell you one of their brews will make you feel like you're sitting next to a campfire, because it will. Ooh, it's so smoky. Yeah. It totally smells like a campfire. <laughs> you have to smell this. So I sampled some and a few others, and then one or two more, and I've got to say, I was hooked. This is beer? Mm hmm that is beer. We I've do. never had beer that tastes like this before. I wasn't kidding either. Chalk it up to the time in the barrel or the unusual recipes built into each drink, but the beer at Divine, well, it's divine. Because beer is not my my thing, I, um, every time I go to a, they're always like, let me, I'll try this one, you'll like it. And yep. I actually have never liked it. This is the first time I've ever liked a beer. There I'm you go. not just saying that. The next time you're at Divine Barrel, feel free to extend your hand to one of the owners. They encourage beer lovers to introduce themselves and, of course, make themselves at home any day of the week.